do, but underneath volcanoes there's this large pool of magma that is feeding the volcano. And when the volcano finally stops, that pool cools, and it's called a, a geologically term, called a batholith. So the batholith is this big chunk of magma that never got out of the volcano. It stayed underneath the ground, and it's big, and it, and it just very, very slowly cools. And when it cools, it forms a solid chunk of what we call granite, and, and all the rocks that are around us are granite. And then, because of the faulting action and because we have a subduction zone off our coast where the seafloor is going underneath the continental shelf and it's pushing things up, so that got pushed up. So what we're looking at is what used to be underneath the volcano that got pushed up over the top. And it's that granite material. We're gonna, when we take our walk over there, we'll actually see some of that granite material. But it's kind of interesting to think about this thing that 100 million years ago was a volcano volcano eroded away, and then the batholith underneath it got pushed up. And those are the mountains that we're looking at right now. So this is a long, long process of geology and formation. But, so what we're looking at is that batholith up above the ground right now. And as you go up into Joshua Tree, that's the same thing there. Or if you go into the, the San Bernardino Mountains, it's a similar type of batholith situation. But, ring of volcanoes went all the way down through Baja, as I said before, and those, the ones down in Baja were more recent, and so this, these became senescent 100 million years ago, but the ones down in Baja were active as much as a couple of million years.